and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing some fun little gift ideas with Valentine's Day around the corner. It's a nice occasion to just acknowledge the people that you care about in your life. So I thought I would share a couple of gift ideas that are pretty universal. They're in the kind of home decor, home goods section, and they're pretty inexpensive and easy to make. So the materials are gonna be around $5. So you can make as many of these as you like and give them to your friends and family or significant other. For my first project, I'm going to be working on a candy dish and I just got this dish at the thrift store. It was a dollar and you can find any kind of dish that you like from there. It doesn't have to necessarily be glass. It could be wood or plastic or ceramic. You can also check out the Dollar Tree or Dollar Store as well and find something you like there or maybe you even have something at home that you can upcycle. This was probably an ice cream sundae dish and I just thought it had a really cool shape to it. It had this stem with a wide hole. So really you can be as creative as you want. For the paint colors, I'm going to be using a gold and black paint and you can use any kind of combination, but I just think that one's pretty classic. For example, with gold, you can also pair any sort of deep tones like maroon or forest green or navy. Now to start, I'm just going to spray paint the whole dish gold, outside and inside, using this Paint and Primer Vintage Gold. This gold was a little bit too yellow for what I wanted, so I switched to an old spray paint that I had, Valspar Brilliant Gold, for my second coat. Now for this dish, I'm not going to paint a pattern on the outside because I think it would compete with the pattern that's already etched in the glass. So I'm just going to paint the inside with black acrylic paint. And I'm trying to keep my brush strokes as smooth as possible. Now that the black paint has dried, I just wrap the outside of the dish in paper so the gloss sealant I'm spraying on only covers the black. The outside doesn't need a sealant, and I don't want it to be glossy. To dress up the dish, I'm making a flower-shaped bow with some ribbon, and I just grabbed a box that was about seven inches around, and I'm wrapping seven to eight loops around it. Next, I'm snipping just a little bit of each corner, and then aligning those in the middle for the center of the bow. And to hold it together, I'm using a twist tie. Now I'm starting on one side and pulling out the innermost loop with a little twist and alternating left and right. And then I'm just doing the same on the other side. Last, just fluff and adjust and it's done. Now I'm just measuring out some ribbon to attach the bow to the bowl. And each strip is going around opposite sides of the stem and I'm tying the ends together before pulling them up around the bowl. And then tying those opposite sides together. tying on the bow with the two loose ends. And pouring in my chocolate. I chose some dark chocolates, but any wrapped treat will work. Now for my next project, I'm going to be making a rope woven basket. And this is a great versatile gift because you can put fruit in it, you could put bread in it, you could use it as storage for craft supplies or anything like that. So it's a great little gift to give someone. And for the materials, I got this gold wire basket at the Dollar Tree for 99 cents. And this spool of rope with discounts from Michaels was about 550 and we'll need just about half of it. And then I had this upholstery thread at home, but you could probably use any kind of thread and a glue gun. 
Here I've got a 5mm width rope and I wrapped 15 feet around my ruler. Now to start, I'm just going to knot one end of it to the bottom of the basket. Next, I'm going to weave the first layer of rope and instead of cutting individual pieces and sewing and gluing along the way, I'm just bunching up the rope and weaving that through to save time. And now to keep the rope from slipping down the bottom, I'm just dabbing some hot glue on the edges to hold it in place. Once the glue is dry, I just keep on weaving over and under around the basket. I just cut the next piece, wrapped the end in thread, and I'm sewing it to the last one. And then I just keep going until I reach the end and sew that in place. so I can add some biscuits to my basket. And I'm just doing a very simple fold, bringing in the four corners, then folding those under about two inches. And then I'm just gonna pinch the end so I can pick up the napkin and place it in the basket. Then I just pull out the ends and spread them out so the edges touch. And now I just add my biscuits. And you can add whatever treats you like, and then you can close the flaps. Now for my last gift idea, I found this really beautiful jar at Marshall's and it was only $2.99. The size is 40 ounces and I really liked it because it has this cool etching in the glass and this beautiful copper top that just twists on and off. And for this jar, I thought it would be cool to fill it with your gift recipient's favorite cookies or tea or other goodies that they enjoy. Now to make it a little extra special, I thought it'd be fun to add some decoration to it that was still nice but removable and not use paint or glue or anything that would be stuck onto it. And so to get started, I have some elastic lace trim and little decorative flowers from the fabric store. And I'm just measuring the lace around the jar to cut it. And then when I sew the ends together, it'll shorten the lace and then tighten the elastic so it holds snugly against the jar. added a drop of hot glue to secure the flower in place. And next, I'm going to make a little fold-up card that'll be a three and a half inch square with sides that fold in and through a top that folds over. So I'm just tracing the heart that will fold through the top and then gluing it to the sides. Here I'm just making the slit. And then putting it all together. Now it's time to add some treats. watching today's video. I hope you feel inspired to make little gifts for your loved ones as well. And if you enjoyed the video, do hit that thumbs up button below. And if you haven't had a chance yet to subscribe, please be sure to hit that subscribe button below to find out about future videos.